All right, we are down here on uh, vacation in Orange Beach, Orange Beach, Alabama, and come down here to do a little fishing and tourist stuff on spring break. But um, every time I came down here, we've caught these catfish out here. That I think they're called hardhead catfish, and they're like almost guaranteed you're gonna catch them, especially like once once dark hits and. Normally you're after the pompano and the whiting and the, and the, you know, the other species that are better table fare, but I've always thrown them back. Um, and this time I thought it would be fun to uh, do a video of trying them out to see what they taste like, to see if they're actually, you know, no good or if they're uh, worth keeping here once in a while. So here it is, we're gonna catch a few here in a second. Double catfish. I know it's cats, but man, that's pretty cool getting two. It was the lightest of bites too, Ken. I mean, it was barely tipping that thing. That's pretty sweet right there. We might uh, we might put that top one in the cooler. White lights. Oh, I can barely see it. I can barely see it moving, honestly. I think they were just out there swimming with it. And it was wasn't. Funny. I got them in my pocket. Shall we keep filming? Can we keep it up? Yeah, put it back in the water. Yeah. We might as well uh, put the little one back in the water, maybe. And then we'll keep two of them to, to try to cook up, maybe, and try it out. Right? Yeah. That sounds good? Sounds great. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to grab them by the... Very cool. That's got a fish on it down there. Another catfish, KJ and Brett are both on right now. Tonight, Kenny did catch a pompano, but it was an undersized pompano. And we caught probably 15 of these, right, Ken? Yeah, probably. I would say, at least. We're gonna flay this up, and we bled them. We cut that top fin off, too, just for safety. And they got some here, too, but I can work around those a little bit easier, but those top, uh, top fin points are pretty sharp, and we cut the gills, and slice the tail so we can get as much blood out of them as we can, you know, for quality wise, but we'll see. Come down. Down that, come down. Oh, 
I mean, for starters, I can I can see why people don't uh, keep them too often. They're kind of a pain to play. Wow. Well, at first glance, at first glance, um, I would say to me, it doesn't look the greatest, honestly. <laughs> um, it's pretty dark. Pretty dark. It's, uh, I mean, I was thinking it was going to be a lot lighter color, but we'll see. I guess we'll try it. Yeah, you smell it. Tell me what that smells like. <laughs> I don't know. We could, I guess we'll try it, but I'm glad we only kept two because it does not, I mean, it doesn't smell pleasant. It smells right? like, it smells like rotten fish. <laughs> don't smell that bad. It smells like catfish. <laughs> I got both of those. We kept two. I got both of those sided, and those were fairly large catfish. I mean, they were all of six, no, maybe not 16, I don't know, 14 to 16 inches long, and um, the yield on them was pretty small. The rib cages are, are so big. We got, I mean, pretty small little you know, chunks, but I'm going to skin it and show you guys the, uh, the back side. We're running out of... Uh, fish fillet mats here, so we keep, I keep having to steal the snack boxes. They don't have a cutting board here at the condo. And I think, oh yeah, I've seen guys, they won't go to the, to all the way to the skin. They'll stay up and they'll leave meat on. See how I'm kind of staying up off the uh, thing because there's such a heavy bloodline back there and that's definitely not what you want to eat if you want to have a decent like all that right there all this right here you i would say for sure you do not want to eat any of that stuff so we're gonna that's gonna go away and here see i got pretty clean but i'm gonna take it one step further and and take this out just and, so that there's no I mean, I'm getting the best chance of um, having this taste good as I can. So those, now, I mean, once you take that bloodline out and you, uh, maybe I'm getting, might be getting used to it, but it almost smells a little bit more, uh, not as cat, catfish, like fishy um, smelling, but yeah looks pretty good i'd say that that doesn't look bad to me we'll try it out tomorrow back in from the beach right here and went out and did some more fishing and if you had to guess what we caught more catfish but i'm gonna go ahead and cook this up and we're gonna do a, a taste test on it and give an honest opinion. We're gonna get Ken and B-Rat and Hazel to try a little piece and see what they think. So, so if you're ever wondering, you know, um, on cooking it or keeping it and cooking it, then this will be a little insight whether you wanna do that or not. Sat in the fridge for um, two days. It's Monday today, we caught it on Saturday night. So that's what it looks like after it's sat in the fridge. Not terrible. Smells gone down to hardly anything. Put some more of the Louisiana on there. That's how I always fry fish when we do fish, so I'm just gonna do the same way I would always do. You know, just to see, so. I think that's a fair, fair thing. Just do the same process I always do when I'm frying fish.
Looks pretty good, I think. Mmm! That's so good. It's really good. There's nothing, I mean, there's not really any flavor to it. It tastes like some other fish. The only thing I can say is it's kind of uh, dry. But I did cook it a little. I cooked yeah. it a little crisp, but. You put that in front of, let's say you got a group of guys around or whatever. If you put that in a group of people, Butter they'd fish. all think it's good. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'd totally. Put money on that. Catfish? Uh -huh. All right. Oh, oh, I'll try this piece. Uh -huh. I don't think it's terrible. No, that's what we thought. It tastes, it tastes pretty it good. Tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes pretty good. And we've always thrown them back because we've always heard it's uh, not good. Yeah. You know, just like a lot of a lot of things. And we were catching a ton of them. And I just, I was like, let's keep a couple to do a uh, to do a cook. And That's crazy. it ended up being really good, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Nothing, Nothing wrong. Uh -uh. So, yeah, if you ever catch those and that's all you're catching, I'd say it's worth to keep them. And uh, yeah, and you're sure to you're sure to catch them, especially after dark. So they come cleaning out like crazy. Like. Yeah, cleaning it was, was well, here and yeah, I guess yeah. if you're used to cleaning catfish, then it wouldn't be so bad, but um, I'm just not, we don't eat a lot of catfish. So I, somebody else probably could have done a better job, but um, yeah. Keep them. Eat them up, right, Hazel? Yeah, it's good. Fishes are healthy and good. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.